This patient underwent normal vaginal delivery elsewhere yesterday and came for emergency OT with postpartum hemorrhage and shock. And today we are planning to extubate this patient. Such long-standing large huge swelling of the neck or thyroid swelling are the risk for tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia is the weakness of the tracheal wall caused by the softening of the tracheal cartilage which could be caused by extrinsic compression by large thyroid, any malignancy, chronic infection, relapsing polychondritis, etc. So to rule out any post-extubation airway problem, we are doing cuff leak test. And if the cuff leak test is positive, there is a high risk of post-extubation airway obstruction. And after depleting the cuff, the difference in the inspiratory and expiratory tidal volume should be more than 110 ml. And as you can see, it is more than 200 ml. So the cuff leak test is negative and we can extubate this patient. Then another method is to deflate the cuff and assess for the audible leak from the side. Else, you can also block the tube end and assess the leak coming from the side of the tube from the trachea. So as the cuff leak test is negative, that is no edema or collapsing of the trachea, we are heading towards the extubation. Emergency trolley ready. Injection hydrocot has already been given and now we are giving dexamethasone. Then with the RELS tube suctioning and endotracheal tube suctioning, patient has been extubated. Now patient is also following commands and stable. Such patients with long-standing large swelling of the neck are at high risk of trichomalacia. Extubated successfully. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.